What up, YouTube? My name's Nick, and I'm bringing you guys some Halo 3 gameplay. Alright, so let's get this started. This is Slayer BRs on Blackout. Uh, obviously, it's Rumble Pit. And I'm gonna keep posting Halo 3 content. I find this game really enjoyable, and as long as there's people online, which there is a decent amount of players in the multiplayer, I'm gonna keep posting stuff up. So yeah, um, until Halo 4, of course. And however, I will post Reach and Call of Duty gameplay as well, so don't do not worry about that. So let's jump right into the subject because this is going to be a short commentary. So uh, random stick off the wall, go me, and let's jump right into it. Halo 4 and ranking systems. Now Frankie, Frankie just recently confirmed that there's not going to be a 1 through 50 ranking system. That made me very sad face personally and I'm sure that made a lot of he veteran Halo players sad as well however there is not going to be a reach ranking system so well I'm pretty sure they confirmed that I will I'm I hope not I'm, I'm pretty 99% sure that it's not going to be arena system because we all know arena was absolutely terrible the population just completely dropped in arena it was yeah it was just awful it's just yucky but uh yeah um now, with that said, I understand where Frankie is coming from. Um, 1 through 50 was flawed. It was a flawed system. It encouraged boosting in Halo 3. I, however, I don't think Halo 2 was that bad. I think Halo 2 was pretty good. But there was a lot of cheaters and everything, and it was just a mess. And you had to be extremely freaking professional to even get a 40. It was just crazy. But, yeah. And so, uh, with all that said, I'm extremely curious on what 343 is going to do for their Halo 4 ranking system. I'm pretty sure we all are. So, and it's pretty important. Um, ranking system is what, the ranking system in Halo 3 is what motivated me to keep playing. I remember, um, spending countless nights, hours on hours on end, trying to get that 50. I was on that 49, I kept playing, I kept playing, I kept playing, until I get that 50. You know, there was just something about that number. I just wanted to keep playing. And that's actually really key to a ranking system. That There's got to be something that motivates you, and it's got to be enjoyable. It that's it just has to be, or it's not going to be it's not gonna be successful. And so, I'm really curious. Um, however, I really do think they're looking at um, other examples, like uh, StarCraft II and their ladder system. That has to be one of the most accurate ranking systems. I've ever seen in my entire life. StarCraft 2 is so accurate. Um, another game which I think would work pretty well for Halo is a uh, League of Legends ELO system and I think that would be a perfect ranking system in Halo 4 because people will match up with other people who are on the same skill level and it will be balanced and fun. Well depending on the game I guess. But everyone knows if there's no balance within the gameplay then you throw competitiveness out the window. And Halo is a competitive game. It's a competitive series. Everyone knows that. Now, however 343 decides to create their ranking system, bottom line, the game has to be enjoyable. If the game is not enjoyable to all the communities, especially the casual and the competitive community, then you're not going to have a successful game. So, bottom line, it's just got to be enjoyable. It's just got to be enjoyable gameplay. But uh, yeah, another thing that I wanted to touch on really quickly is uh, weapon skins. Uh, 343 recently confirmed uh, weapon skins, and all the Halo 1 and Halo 2 kids, um, they need to shut up and get over it because if a 12 year old wants a red BR or he wants a green DMR or whatever, let him have it. As long as it doesn't affect the gameplay, it's pretty pointless to complain about that. That is okay. I am okay with that. And, you know, you're still going to be better than the kids, so calm down, whatever, you know. Just be with it. 343, they gotta, they can't make the same game over and over. They gotta pitch in more fans. They gotta make the community bigger. That's what game developers are there for, to create new ideas and stuff. I'm actually pretty excited for weapon skins. I'm all for customization and everything. As long as it doesn't fuck up the gameplay, do whatever you want, you know. But uh, yeah, that's actually the end of the gameplay, guys. I hope you liked my choked kiltrocity at the end. But uh, I love you all. Have a wonderful and safe day. Peace.